There's a reissue of Cares. There's a BFI tribute to uh, Ken Loach, who I think is celebrating his 75th birthday. And um, and, they're, and they're re-releasing Cares. Cares is very important to me because uh, I was writing once about whatever happened to family films. The, uh, something happened in the marketplace in the, sort of the last 20 years, this idea that everything becomes fragmented and the film is made for 12 to 16 year old boys or it's made for you know 15 to 18 year old girls and there was this idea that you know you have kids movies and then you have adult movies in the you know best sense rather than adult movies as opposed to movies for grown movies for grown ups yeah exactly and yet uh, there used to be a marketplace in which there were movies that would appeal across the board, genuinely across the board, not just like digimated cartoons with jokes about Goodfellas to keep the dads happy. When I was, uh, I suppose, maybe 10 and my brother, Johnny, was eight, my mum took us uh, to the cinema on a Saturday morning. When she would do that, she'd drop us at the cinema and then she'd go shopping. And it was the Ionic in Golders Green. And she dropped us outside Kez. And all we knew about it was that it was a used certificate film. Therefore, we could go and see it. And it was, you know, not quite two hours long. So she knew how long she had. And we went and see this film, and we were completely traumatised by it because we had no idea what you know what kind of film we were going to see, and it's so gripping and you so. You just assume that it's going to be some kind of Mary Poppins. Thing. Yeah, except for the fact that there is the guy putting the you know the reverse Winston Churchill on the poster, which Apart of course was very very famous. And it is it's amazing how much that film still stands up. That that, that, that sense of on the one hand you know documentary realism, real sort of acute uh, you know nat- naturalism about it, and brilliant performances all round. The fantastic football match with the you know the homegrown commentary all that stuff but it loses none of its sting i mean you have it i think it's really admirable because it is in inverted commas a family movie that deals with lots of different difficult and complicated subject matter and does not shy away from you know a very very difficult very tragic ending and many people have read the ending of it in different ways some people say oh it's terrible how dare they it's like that idea about killing the dream in the end i'm not going to say what happens in the end but um, just just be warned if you think you know, let's go and see Cares. It's an old classic. It's been around for a long time. It's going to be a pretty gentle ride. I mean, it's a it's a brilliant film, and it is it is genuinely evidence of what we've lost in terms of making family films. But family films doesn't mean you take the edges off. Quite the contrary, it's a, a diehard perennial family film because it doesn't take its edges off. It is a very very tough watch in certain places. Other places, it's uplifting and beautiful. And I mean, have you seen it recently? No, I don't think so. But I just wonder whether you is the appropriate certificate then, really? Well, I think now it must have been reclassified. It's probably now a PG, but back then it was either U or A meant you have to go with, with adults. It is now a PG, I notice. Yeah, it is a PG certificate film. But it's interesting that they should... Because you imagine that classification gets sort of toughened up over the years. But the, it, That was just to do with the broadening of categories. U used to be... You know, anyone could go. A used to be you had to go with an, accom- with, with an accompanying adult. Double A used to be you had to be 14. And, of course, now U and PG, you can... you know, it, 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 the, the, the categories have changed somewhat. I mean, Krakatoa East of Java in its original version was a U certificate movie. And then when it was reissued, was a PG. That does happen quite a lot. In fact, Splash, when it first came out, was a U certificate movie, despite having an awful lot of racy bedroom humour in it, as I think the official term is. And, 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 and as I recall, a bottom... And a bottom, yes, that's right. It does, yes. You can't have a bottom in a U film, surely. Well, you demonstrably can, as Daryl Hannah has proven. I bet bet these days, if if Daryl Hannah's... Never mind. (laughs) No, well, Splash is now a PG. There you go. But not because of that. I mean, I'm sure it's PG because of a lot of the stuff that John Candy says. I mean, some of the John Candy dialogue at the beginning of Splash is fruity in the extreme. He comes in... He walks in the thing brandishing a copy of uh, Penthouse magazine and says, they printed my letter, a lesbian no more. I mean, it's a U certificate film. And it, well, it's like those sort of... Cha- again, it's about changing sensibilities, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. go watch something like Ghostbusters and you watch it with your kids. Oh, kids, you're going to love this. All gather and, yeah, and you forget so the how, language in yeah, it. It's absolutely uh, astonishing. Alison, are you, are you done on cares, by the way? Yeah, that's fine. We're Alison, just going to say, go, you know, go see it. Go see it again and be thrilled all over again.